Um, it's not been the first time I've been asked, um, and when I was first ever asked, I was so um, I felt so privileged, and it was such an exciting you know prospect to be part of it. Um, I've just had my second child in December, so this year felt like career-wise and family-wise, it was the right time for me. Um, but yeah, it is quite surreal because obviously it's you know the biggest show on telly um, and also everybody watches it and it's so much fun so I feel really lucky to be in this seat today. <laughs> you know you can't ignore the fact that it is a competition and of course everybody's in it to want to go far like you said if not you know win as well but I think for me like personally to have the opportunity to be taught um, by somebody like Gorka, you know, it's one of the world's best dancers. Like, when are you ever going to get that chance in your career or in your personal life to do that? So, if I walk away from this um, knowing a whole new skill that I didn't, and I think expanding a side of me confidence wise that I don't currently have, then I'll feel like a winner anyway. Yeah, I mean, I'm loving yes. the glam That's side to it, and you know, cool. I often embrace hair and makeup oh anyway. God. But yeah. we've done like a little bit of like dancing together, and I'm, <laughs> he's like the pro, and I'm like Jeez. the baby elephant. So. No, no way, no way. <laughs> it's, it's a bit early days <laughs> at the moment. So. <laughs> I know you said you're starting from zero and you're going to be this year's Ed Balls, which I can't quite believe personally, but I don't know how you'd rate your dancing. Um, well, if, if, if 10 is Gorka, I'm a, like a three at the moment, but what I lack in rhythm... I would and say she's more than three. What, three and a half? No, more. Please, more, more, more. What number do you think? I would like five, six. Yeah, yeah? Well, maybe. Yeah. I mean, five-ish, maybe. She needs but. to believe more in herself. <laughs> I will do that for her, don't worry. <laughs> The first time we met each other, we didn't know if we were partners because we met in a group um, and that was for the group dance and then actually you danced with other people, mm -hmm. I danced with other people and we got on well and, and we kind of said to each other, well I said to you, I hope I get you, but because we, we didn't know if there were any guarantees, I tried not to get too focused on that and just mix with everybody. And but then it's true, like even when we got put it together for that routine, I think we had like chemistry, like because yeah. you know you can be introduced to someone, and after five minutes you can be like, okay, well, bye. But we keep talking about everything and like you know like normal life chats. So I think that's a good thing. You know what I mean? Yeah, that was that a good start. Yeah, point. we get on well, I think, or we will get on well. And also, I've got this really bad habit where someone speaks and I don't listen, and then I don't remember anything. So he's had to get used to saying everything 20 times. Oh, okay, that's good to know. <laughs> <laughs> but you have been quite patient with yeah, me. Yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. Well, I did say like my partner needs to be um, patient, determined, and prepared to train every waking hour every day because even though I don't have rhythm, I've got commitment, and I think you've got commitment yeah, too. Yeah. So yeah, it's a good part. Yeah. I think I'll be better at like slower, like ballroom, um, just because when it's really fast, that's when I kind of miss one step and then I get two behind on the whole beat, you know? So yeah, I think the faster, the harder I'm going to find it. So the Latin, you're kind of a bit apprehensive about Yeah, maybe? I might hire a body double for that. Well, you know, we can tell the band to make the music slower. This so is good. This is going to be needed. We can do slow motion cha-cha-cha. Yeah. Or slow motion jive, you know? We have the bosses on the dance floor, so no one noticed. I mean, yeah. I enjoy like going to the gym nice. and I'm, I'm okay. training for a half marathon for my charity. So I go like running. Um, I right. Do you like, are you running? I'm doing with you that. Oh yeah, okay, yeah. there we go, oh, new okay. running partner. I don't need to train for the marathon, but I can do it. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, I like fitness, <laughs> but in terms of dancing, no, I haven't done anything like that. Have you got like any dance that's experience nice. before at all? Yeah. Like if you, I suppose you get up at weddings maybe or... or yeah, that but that's a gin and tonic, so that's like a bit different. Yeah. So, yeah. <laughs> no secret experience at all then? No. So you Sometimes literally start this is the best, you know? People think, oh, I never danced before, or oh, I have zero knowledge. You know, I think from my perspective, or like as a teacher, sometimes it's better. It's like when you want to go to like driving lessons, and you know, your dad took you when you were younger to drive, and you have the bad habits. That's but when true. you don't know nothing, you just go to the teacher, and they teach you for the exams. You do everything better, like the two hands look every way. When you have like bad habits, you just go in one hand, yeah, talking, yeah. and then you fail the exam, and you are like, but I know how to drive. Same thing with dancing. If the good thing is like, she doesn't have any knowledge, so it's like a pure diamond, we just now have to polish it and make it dance and shine it, so that's it. Yeah, that's so true. I hadn't thought about it. Like yeah, you like that, eh? the diamond, <laughs> yeah. eh? She likes the diamond. <laughs>
How are you going to take criticism as well? Because if you know the judges, especially maybe Craig, says something that's perhaps not very nice, how are you going to react to that? Do you know what? In my life, when I have faced criticism, I always think that's how you learn and progress. And every time I fail at something, I just see it as like it is practice for success. And actually, mm -hmm. I hate people that don't tell you the truth. Like, yeah. I, I would rather somebody tell me the truth, yeah. and I could go away and say. <laughs> <laughs> like if we have a really bad week, we can go away together in the studio and say we're going to use this to motivate yeah. us, not bring us down. Yeah. You know, I'll probably burst into tears. <laughs> True. I will give you a bag of tissues. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know if there's anything you've had to sort of ask Gorka or you'll tell Gorka to be aware of when it comes to choreography. So I, I think I read an interview you said sometimes you find it quite hard to turn your head in certain ways. Yeah. So. I mean, I've got some injuries that might make it a little bit more difficult, but I don't think it would hold me back. I mean. You know, I've lived with like extensive injuries for like 10 years. I mean, some people like I don't even know if he would know. Like, you know, obviously I'm blind in my left eye, mm -hmm. so I can't see anything on that side at all. But I've been like that for 10 years, so I've actually forgotten what it's like to see from all sides, really. So I think you just kind of adapt, really, um, and in a way, it actually motivates me more. So it actually works in the opposite mm -hmm. way. So. But I think everybody's, you know, some of the other contestants are slightly older and they get tired quicker, some have bad backs. Like, I think we could all find reasons to not do things, but they don't have to stop us, you know. So. Amen. <laughs> yeah, that is such a good <laughs> message. You've got no right to have any injuries, OK? <laughs> And a lot of other contestants as well, they have advantages, like we've got, you know, Olympians or actors maybe. What do you think your sort of ace up your sleeve is for doing well on the show? Have you heard answer? I know. <laughs> I think it's good enough. <laughs> yeah, I just, both. I just think I never give up, but I yeah. think you're like that too. Yeah. Yeah. So. I, I don't think I'm going to find someone stronger like than her and a strong <laughs> personality and mentality, you know what I mean? I might and start to annoy you though after a no, while. No, <laughs> I like that, you know what I mean? It's a fighter. Um, yeah, it would be amazing to think that I could dance at Blackpool. Yeah, and it would be amazing. If I got that far, I would be really grateful to the audience and to yeah. you for getting me that far. So let's stay optimistic, shall we? Yeah. yeah? <laughs> and Blackpool is like a nice place, it's just... <laughs> <laughs> no, because what I said before, <laughs> oh, she's laughing. Just I love Blackpool. Really funny story I love about Blackpool. Blackpool. <laughs> it's one of my favorite places in the UK. Mm. But it's the home of dance. Like, okay, yeah. it's pretty iconic. Dance wise, yeah. I love it. Yeah. Fun wise, not really. Yeah. <laughs> he got his teeth knocked out in Blackpool. Yeah. Well, happy, happy memories. Yeah. Happy memories. Um, I'll, I'll, I'll look after you in Blackpool, right? <laughs> Thanks. <laughs>